guys, I'm Adib playing Dead Micro 4 Special Edition. This is mission 11 of my Nero and Dante, Dante Must Die difficulty video guide. We're finally, finally at the end of Nero's missions, at least till later, but we get a good, I think it's like seven missions of Dante, and I'm looking forward to it so much. I'm gonna suck dick, I've said, I've said this repeatedly, but I'm gonna suck dick as him for a while, if not for the entire thing. And I know for a fact there's gonna be veterans out there that are just gonna get so triggered at my awful Dante play that they're like, no, fuck you, you're terrible. <laughs> but I don't give a fuck because I know I'm bad. <laughs> Joke's on you, I already knew I was bad. <laughs> uh, this mission is not complex. The only hard part... And I say hard, it's more hard just because it's frustrating, is the Sanctus fight. And that's just because he dodges you, he evades actually fighting you, and he's a terribly, shittily, awfully designed boss that I fucking hate, and I would delete from the game if I had the choice. Like, I think the is kind of bad, but at least it's cool conceptually, right? It's like, you know, at least the concept is cool, you can justify it in that way. But Sanctus, it's just, he was designed to annoy the fuck out of you. There's something I noticed when I had to redo the last video a couple of times, but there's something I noticed, and that is Nero's aerial streak. Man, why isn't this guy coming down? Fuck you. Nero's aerial streak, when he doesn't have any XC charges, actually has the trick noise at the start. Like, listen closely. Hear that? Oh, you can't do it twice. Like, that is the trick noise. I find that really interesting. Like, why would that, of all things, have the... Oh, come on. There we go. Why would that, of all things, have the trick noise? Like, that's so weird. But it does. <laughs> so, there is a bit of a spoiler here. And if you don't want this to be spoiled, then I'm going to give you five seconds to skip the video ahead by about 15 seconds to avoid the spoiler. Okay, so... Nero is Virgil's son. This was confirmed in an art book, and I just find that super interesting. It's like a lot of people thought it was going to be Dante's son. I just want if there's Devil May Cry Five, I just wonder what direction they're going to take with it, and whether or not Virgil's going to come back. Speaking of Devil May Cry Five, a lot of people are like. Like, I, I saw some people, like, discussing whether it'd be better to have a bad Devil May Cry 5 or no Devil May Cry 5. And I'm not sure of what side of the fence I'm on in that regard, because... On the one hand, I want Devil May Cry content. <laughs> you know, I just want anything. Like, come on, Capcom, just give me something. Give us a bone to chew on. But at the same time, it's a game that fans have been waiting for for so long that... It kind of needs to meet their expectations, right? No. Now that's just something that Capcom... If they want to continue with Devil May Cry, which I suspect they probably don't, personally. They will need to meet those expectations. And... I don't see how they're going to do it. Kind of, like... I just... I don't see it, like... Oh, fuck. Fuck, let me put it there. <laughs> I just don't see how they're going to meet it, though. Like, how are they going to meet the 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 wishes of a fan base that's been waiting for the game for like 10 years you know i mean we can make like memes about half-life all you want but it was never going to live up to the way that people want it to because they've been waiting for it for so fucking long that it's just it would have to be literally the best game in history objectively <laughs> and games are a subjective thing to meet those expectations or those wants wishes whatever you want to call them and i just don't see it happening but at the same time, I reckon they could make a damn good game if they put their minds to it. Because Capcom does make good games. Like, despite the fact that I think they're a bit of a scumbag company with, like, you know, re-releasing the same game over and over under a different name, they still make good games. And also, this is not clean at all. Like, I'm not taking hits, but fuck me, this is not smooth or efficient. Fuck you. Okay, fuck you, just die. It's time for you to go. die. I've completely forgotten how to fight those guys. Like, back in the day, I used to be quite efficient at killing them as Nero, and these days I am just not. <laughs> anyway, we're going to talk more about the mission now. Um, there's really not that much to it. We're basically at the end already. 
You can opt to do this fight for some Devil Trigger if you want to. I think I'm actually going to do that. Just because I struggle with Sanctus myself. And that's just because I never practice him. Which, as we've discussed in previous videos, is why I'm bad at, you know, Dante. I just haven't invested the time to get good. Oh, I didn't need to take that hit there. Eat that. Alright, I'm just going to go now. Like, I've gotten a bit of Devil Trigger. Probably a waste. But here we go, we're on Sanctus. So... The number one tip I have is you need to learn how to change your lock on. By default, it's clicking in your left thumb stick. Don't know what it is on PC, but you can find that out easily enough. Changing your lock on is what will really change the running around and chasing his ass because that is so fucking annoying and that's what I'm going to get very frustrated with. I might end up editing some of it out for you guys if it takes too long, but we shall see. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, it is one of those where you do just have to practice it quite a lot. Because it's just... Like, the only tip I can give you is the lock-on changing. And the rest of it is just practice and find out what works. I find that Grim Gripping, I think it's what it's called, where you pull yourself to him, is an effective way of going about it. And... Oh, fuck. I forgot it was that one. I thought it was the other one. But yeah, I find that's effective, and most importantly, preserving your life bar. Which sounds silly, but... Oh, fuck. I thought I was in range of that. Man, you see how frustrating this is, though? Come on, just pull. <sighs> but yeah, don't lose unnecessary life through frustration, like I inevitably am. Oh, it was the other one. Fuck me, man. There we go. Aerial Streak, it seems to be quite effective, actually. Back in the day, I never actually could execute that properly. Because <laughs> so I was a kid at the time, obviously. And so, I never actually used it. I'm going to try that out, actually. Maybe it is really effective. I'm not going to talk a lot, because I'm going to focus. Because it is just a tricky boss fight for me. Because it's something I've just not practiced that much. Fuck off. Like, you see how this is such a poorly designed boss, man? Like, I didn't get a chance there. I mean, I could have played better, you know, there is that, but... I know, like, just make it legitimately hard, not... Haha, <laughs> keep chasing me, please, this is fun. Like, look at this shit. It's, yeah. Oh, man, he goes into this... This is another thing, like, I lost out on a lot of punishing there. Like, I missed out on so much damage. It's fucking annoying. And now he's going to get his shield back. Fuck's sake. Yeah, yeah, congrats. Fucking cunt. But, like, how is this a good boss? Like, what idiot, like, looked at this and said, Hey, this is most enjoyable. Let's put this in our game. The fans will really want to play this. You know, it's just like, for fuck's sake. Fucking, <laughs> that doesn't do anything. I don't have anything interesting to say because this boss is fucking awful. This is a wonderful game, but it has fucking problems. Why'd you lock onto that one, Nero? Kill that cunt. Like, look at this. I cannot close that gap. I do not have that potential. <laughs> like, if I was Virgil, I totally could. You know, this actually does feel like a boss that was more designed for Dante and Virgil than it was for Nero. Which is funny, considering that you never actually fight this boss as either of those characters, unless you, like, mod your game or some shit. But, like, Nero just doesn't seem to have the, the raw speed required to close this gap reliably. Ugh. I hope I don't have to do, like, 50 retakes. Come on. Oh, you piece of shit, cunt. Fuck you. <sighs> I did mis-execute that. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I will... 
accept my poor play. Great, now I can't punish him because of this shit. Woohoo, this is a fun and interesting boss, guys. Look at this. Great. Miss your lock on Nero, good job. Nice one, my dude. This is good design, guys. If you ever design a game, please design this. Like, just, just take this. Fuck it, just take this. This isn't frustrating or boring or lame or anything like that. It's really, really engaging gameplay. Yeah, yeah, congrats. Piece of... Fuck you. Got him. Fuck you. <laughs> Can I get... Nice, got a lot of damage in there. Fuck you. Fuck you, 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 fuck you. I'm actually just gonna release those fucking shurikens. Usually it's not worth it, but against this cunt, you want whatever damage you can get. Fuck you. I sentence you to shut the fuck up, you dick. <laughs> Yeah, nice. Get that guy, not the fucking thing that's gonna hit you, Nero. Fucking twat. Oh, fuck you, I hit him, man. How did that not stun him? <sighs> Engaging gameplay. <laughs> I just wanna know what idiot thought this was a great boss. To be fair, the aerial streak does seem to be very effective, actually. Nice! Okay, so that's actually a working strategy, I think. I'm just gonna release jerkins, fuck it. <laughs> um, so I think if you um, break a shield, like when he breaks a shield, if you can get rid of those fucking things, those flying orby things, is it enough? Are you serious? Enough, 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 fuck you, 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 fuck you. Can he not die to gunfire? Is that a thing? Can he just not die to gunfire? <laughs> but yeah, if you can get that charge shot stun, and then you can do the aerial streak, you might actually just be able to blow his shield that way, that might be consistent. Thing is that this boss fight isn't that bad with practice. How did he die? Oh, the charge shot explosion, of course. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Fuck you, Sanctus, you fucking dick shit. Oh. oh, I'll skip you. Fuck you. So that is a fight in which you can do very well and do it very efficiently with practice. This is actually my first run. I've had quite a smooth recording, I think. I don't think I've had a couple of encoding overloads in the background, which I've noticed, but I think those aren't too bad, and a lot of them were the loading times. So, and I think I'm starting to understand like what my problem is with recording. So I think this should be a good one. But more on topic. Um, this is my first attempt at it, and I think that went pretty well considering it is a boss that you do need to practice on in order to do well. It's not one that you can just pick up and do well, like for example, Burial or something. It's a very... It's a good boss fight in the sense it is a challenging one, right? You do need to practice it, and it is engaging when you get the practice going, I guess. But the thing is, it's just so frustrating that it takes away from the enjoyment. That is not a good boss fight to me. Like, you look at Virgil from Devil May Cry 3. You fight against him, and fuck me, is he hard. Like, he's so quick, and you've got to get used to all his patterns, and it's exactly the same sort of concept as this, that you need a lot of practice. But it's not frustrating. 
because it's not chasing him around forever. It's he's going to parry your moves or he's going to go for you and you've got your chance to attack. Like you make progress, even if it is slow. And against Sanctus, it's just frustrating because you don't seem like you're making progress. But <sighs> that's just my take on it. Like I feel like the player should never feel like they're sort of stuck, right? Which, not, not st stuck in the sense that St stagnated the fight shouldn't feel stagnated and that is for like it, it shouldn't feel stagnated because the player is bored like that's the that's the wording i'm trying to use it shouldn't be stagnated because the player is bored it should stagnate because the player is not good enough but the player shouldn't be bored and frustrated from the chasing around like that is just bad to me but anyway <laughs> there goes my venting now we're on to the Dante missions. I'm super excited and I hope you are too because I'm going to suck ass and I'm probably going to get a couple of abandoned all hopes. Let's fucking do it, guys. <laughs>